you think you have it bad and you have to pay a lot of money for gas, it doesn't end with consumers. It's also the government. Here's how bad it is in some parts of the country. In Michigan, the police ran out of money for gas for their vehicles. They won't respond to all 911 calls because fuel prices are too high. It sounds like a joke, but it's not. It's a real story. The police department in this one county or this one town, it's a county, has said that they blew through their fuel budget already, and it's only June. They don't have enough money for gas. How's that going to affect consumers and call rates? Well, they tell you right here. They tell you that as gas prices spike, the police department in Michigan, they will not be able to respond to all emergency calls. The Isabella County Sheriff's has blown through their budget, so they will respond to some calls by phone rather than turning up in person. And this could happen for several months, according to the sheriff. So you call him up. Hey, someone's breaking into my house. What does he look like? What does he, how does this work? And it's kind of funny, but it's really no joking matter if you're a victim of a crime. Is it the police department's fault? Is it inflation's fault? Whose fault is it? It doesn't really matter. It's just another sign that consumers are not the only ones being affected by inflation. It's not just gas. It's other items as well. It's diesel fuel. It's death. It's groceries, raw materials, um, concrete. You know, Portland cement prices to, to make concrete are up. So see this creeping more into municipal budgets. At the same time that costs are up, many municipal budgets are also shrinking because a lot of municipal budgets get their money from sales tax. And as demand destruction starts to kick in more, people start cutting their budgets, there's not as much sales tax that goes into the coffers. Meaning that the states and counties have to operate with less money, whether it's a police department, fire department, school system, they have to operate with less money. And look, if the police department is parking their patrol cars and not going out on calls because of gas prices, that sounds like an important thing in a county. What does that mean for schools, fire departments, permit, zoning? They're all going to have the same problems. And if the police are already shutting down cars, you can imagine that less crisis-oriented departments are doing the same thing. Let us know what you think in the comments.